Now, are you guys concerned at all about the lack of blue eyes in those photographs? No. 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 It's so it's so inconsequential. Yeah. I mean, I I what about my. I was going to say that, um, I mean, I've always wanted to, I mean, everybody's, I've always wanted to, this, you know, the scene when he's buried in mud and opens his eyes and you see the blue. And, and I've always been wanting that. But yet it doesn't, you know, like I said, it's inconsequential whether or not the blue eyes are there. It's the character and how you portray the character and not necessarily the, the details. I mean, um, but we haven't seen a close-up shot. We've seen him in character, but we haven't, you know, like the the shots that they did on on shoot, but we haven't seen Peta, a still of Peta close up, to know whether or not in the film he actually has blue eyes. Because right. it's not well, really going and change it. Like I'll be, I'll be so, honest. Yeah. I mean, it won't change my. I, I love Josh Hutcherson. I think he's a really gifted actor. But I will be disappointed if Peta does not have blue eyes, just because I, I feel like Peta's coloring is so important in the series because it's what visibly separates the merchant class of District 12 from the seam. And I feel like that's an important aspect of his character and his relationship with Katniss. But, I mean, you know, it won't, like, you know, make or break the film for me. I would like him to have blue eyes, but, you know, I won't be, like, devastated if he doesn't. Um, if I can poke in here for just a second, this is Ariel. Um, of course. I also love, um, I would love Peta to have blue eyes. And one <laughs> thing, though, I mean, the, the Harry Potter movies, I know it's always been related to Harry Potter with me. Oh, I know. But um, the Harry Potter movies, um, Daniel Radcliffe does not have green eyes. And green eyes were, like, the most serious thing, like, ever in the book. Mm-hmm. Like, every other mm-hmm. word is, like, green eyes. And he did it in the movie, and while it pisses me off, <laughs> and I frequently yell about it to some people, I don't. It didn't take away from the movie for me. So, like, you know, I love for for Pete to have blue eyes, like he's supposed to. But if he doesn't, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Well, Dan, Daniel had a reason for not wearing the contact. I mean, he couldn't he couldn't physically wear the contacts. So right. um, that's right. that's why I mean his return. But what was nice was that though is when they changed, um, they made sure to just change everything. Do you have your mother's eyes? And they didn't mention the color. So and then they made right. sure that the him and who you know the actress played the mom had the same color of eyes. So um, but yeah, I think. But if some I, I mentioned that earlier to someone, and um, I think it was Ariana said to me. She's like, well, yeah, but in. Um, so another film, he did wear contacts. So, and I can't remember which one that was. So she's like, well, it can't be that. So, um, <laughs> mean Josh or or Dan? No, for Josh, he did. Josh in another oh, film, yeah, Josh wore contacts. Yeah, yeah. So they said, yeah. He so she's terrible. like, well, it can't be that. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, unless it, it, it's not an an important thing, but you know, I I will cheer if you know if there are blue eyes. <laughs> I will be happy, but I'll be happy either way. So I know that people really Listen, have strong opinions about Josh, but I I feel like I haven't heard a lot of strong opinions either way regarding Liam. Um, and I think that's because the, the transformation was very minimal. I mean, he kind yeah. of just looks like Liam Hemsworth still. <laughs> Is anyone, like, yeah. totally disappointed with his Gale look? No. It's no. Just, no. Just no. Like normal, good-looking team. Right. Guy. I always you pictured can... Gail with long hair, but I feel like the short hair, you know, it fits with the aesthetic they're going with um, as far as the costuming for District 12 goes. So I'm mm-hmm. fine with that. As long as it's not Joe, yeah, but... but what he actually does in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think they they probably don't have hair gel in District 12. No. <laughs> I guess they could use, like, squirrel grease or something. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just a bit. Yeah, maybe the peacekeepers gel their hair, and that's a, one of the few luxuries of being capital-based. Um, let me ask Kate from Hunger Games Trilogy, who hasn't really gotten to speak yet. You're probably the youngest person on here. Um uh, 
And there has been some talk about the age issue, and I know, Savannah, you want to talk about that a little bit um, in a bit. Uh, but, Kate, being, you know, I guess 16 or – are you 16 or 17 now? Or is that 16. not public information? 16. Okay. <laughs> so being 16, how did it feel for you looking at these uh, two gentlemen on the cover and in the story? I don't know. I think I think it's to be expected that they're a little bit older than it says in the book. But I think they look good for who they're supposed to be. And reading the interview with Josh was just so nice. Like, he's totally PETA in real life, too, which makes me happy. And I liked, did you like the quote about, or the quote from Liam about burning his house down if he wasn't given the part of Gail? <laughs> I love yes. that. So- <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yeah. great that they found people with such enthusiasm about the movie, too. 